Uh, how was double universal suffrage promised under the basic law and the joint declaration? Ah, there you go. How more? Okay. That question I've anticipated, okay? <laughs> now, there, there are two provisions in the basic law. There's Article 45 and there's Article 68, okay? Now, Article 45 deals with the appointment and selection of the chief executive. And written into our Constitution in, in Article 45 is the nominating committee, right? It is the nominating committee which by democratic means selects a candidate for appointment. And as, as you probably know, the um, resolution of the National People's Congress of the 31st of August 2014 uh, has a model whereby two or three candidates would emerge from that selection process by the non nominating committee. And those two or three candidates would then be put to universal suffrage by uh, vote of all registered voters as to which of the three, one, one person, one vote, should go forward to be appointed as the ch uh, chief executive. Now, that is where universal suffrage comes into play in Article 45. In Article 68 is a different thing. That deals with legislative council. And that says that in accordance with the uh, steady progress, the ultimate aim is that legislative councillors should be elected by universal suffrage. And that is in Article 68. And at the moment, we are halfway there, in a sense, because of the 70 uh, legislative councillors, 35 are elected from geographical constituencies and that is one person, one vote. Whereas in the functional constituencies, well, it's democratic within, of course, each of those constituencies. Still is one person, one vote, but not, I think, what would come within the, the, the title, the label of universal suffrage. So uh, we are halfway there in terms of the legislative uh, council and the model put forward by um, the uh, NPC, the National People's Congress, was one which the Democrats rejected.